Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Enigmouse. Sadly, the first portion of this video got corrupted, and it was originally going to be its entire video. It was like 50 minutes long before recording, 40, 50 minutes, and now it had to be condensed down to like 5 minutes because of there's no audio with it. It's all messed up. I messed it up. Totally my fault. So then I'm just going to record the next video that I was going to do next week, right now, continue the story with it. So after the first five minutes of gameplay, it'll get back to, instead of being a voiceover, back to my live reaction for it, which is definitely a lot better. So let's jump right into it. So as you can see, right when I loaded up the game, I respawned in this little base and the spider immediately found me that ripped me apart last time. So I had to figure out how to deal with this. Um, and as you can see, I just let it kill me here, which isn't probably the best way to do it. But then I just respawn at the kid case and we move on from this and we just forget all about it. So after respawning, I went back to the first base there and I found out that the analyzer actually recharges, which makes a lot more sense than just one three time use and then it's over. So I followed it, I analyzed some grass plank and figured out how to make the workbench and moved on from there to the next point in the game. So after that I went to investigate the oak tree explosion more and as you can see, very upset at the fact that I missed that the entire time and I'm still upset that I missed that lab the entire time. That is the oak tree lab entrance right there. Also, I found out while looking at the map that the yard is a lot bigger than I thought, which was really surprising to me, how far past it goes beyond the pond, at least it looked like when I was looking at the mini-map. Uh, so definitely a really huge map, beautiful game design. This is probably one of my favorite games ever, and I'm really happy I started it while recording, so I it pushes me to play it more as well. But yeah, definitely extremely upset that I missed this entrance the entire time. In the lab, we find this robot guy, pick him up, we talk to him, he tells us a lot about the scientist guy, and he basically tells us that he hasn't seen the scientist in a long time, an explosion happened, he doesn't know what's happening, and that he, we need to go find him chips for his processing stuff so he can remember more. The next one is in the hedge lab that we will go to in the next episode, and that he is very like every question you ask him he basically forgets it he offers help and then you're like yeah that'd be great and then he just says he forgets it he's like oh i can tell you where all the labs are and then he forgets it so that he can't tell you and it's very i confusing to me but also very fun and there's this little screen in the lab that shows you all the different labs and like what their problems were one there was like contamination one there was a hostile thing in it that you don't know what it is you can't see it on any of the cameras in there so definitely very cool and then there was some other stuff in there a recording from the scientist guy and basically talking about how raw science is the key to the de-shrinking or the regrowth process and then after that he asks you to put your hand on the ASL terminal which gives us access to the ASL terminal but I believe they're all still like offline like it shows but now we have access to anything that we need to scan our hand to get into it this gives us like access like the scientist guy would have to all the labs and helps us progress the story even more the important part about having the ASL terminal now is they are online that was uh, my bad but you get access to this science shop thing where you can buy um, like smithing station like I bought in cooking 101 and then you can also have extra quests to do which is pretty cool I'm very upset with myself for not being able to get the audio for this video because even though it was only 40 minutes before editing it was still gonna be such a great video and now it's gonna be cut so short because I don't have my in-game audio and my reactions to everything in the game. Um, very upsetting, and I apologize to everybody who was excited for this video. But the next video I will make sure goes very smoothly and, and runs perfect and is my highest quality video I've ever put out. So please subscribe and like this video if you want to see that next highest quality video I've ever made. But in the next video, we're going to be heading to the Hedge Lab. We're going to try to progress the story more. I want to beat the story, and then I'll go back through and have fun with the survival stuff. But first, the story is very, like, I'm very into it, and I want to I wanna beat the game. So I'm just kind of not taking my time with the survival and just going through the story as much as I can. Okay, now we're back to the portion. No more voiceover. You're here with me. Live reaction to the game again, which is wonderful. So we're going to head straight to the hedge thing over there definitely afraid I don't know what that is what's going on and I know there's there's got to be a spider in the dead grass because there's one 
Isn't there dead grass on the other side where I died? Yeah, that. So... It's definitely daring to do this. I'm terrified, to say the least. So, oh, I got the whelp flavor drink unlocked. Let's drop down. If a spider comes this way, I'm kind of screwed. Just an ant, so far. Okay. Just an ant. Yes, I can go inside this can. Haha, <laughs> so funny. That's the goal over there. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. They call for mommy. Um. Maybe we head back to the base. Because I don't want to go through the dead grass. Oh, okay. I'm hungry. What can I eat? These nuts. Gotti. <laughs> Gotti. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Whoa. My food done. Weevil roast. Nab that. Left bumper. We will roast. That was delicious. What do you mean? Imagine it's a fruit powder. I'm gonna eat another one. I'm gonna cook another one. Oh no, we're not gonna just click it. We're gonna go cook. We're gonna cook it. I'm gonna take one f on the road to go find out what's going on 567 centimeters that way make a spear to bring with on our journey but I will keep no no put the torch away put the torch away don't waste it it's already almost done pull out the axe for now because it's more ut utility wise better it's better this is where I don't know what things could be around. Oh, I haven't seen this stuff before. You know, like this. The hot dog. I found why is this not a how is this not a landmark doesn't look like there's any spiders in this area so uh, full send I guess until I die then you know what is this what's down here Oh, that scared me. Ah, uh, a no, 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 no. Mm -mm. I'm good. I'm a okay. Nope. Nah. No, thank you. I'm good. Mites? I'm grateful, honestly. Thank you. Thank you that it's just mites. I can deal with mites. There's so many of them, though. There's an ant. So let's go where the ant came from. Oh my god. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, jump, jump, jump. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yep, no, you can't get me. Oh my gosh! Die! You're so annoying. Look 
get that ant go. I spy. Mark that one off the list. So he owns this area, I assume. What is that? Uh, I feel like that's bad. So how do we go around those? Hey, that aphid's just chilling. There might be snakes in this game. Oh no, I just thought about that. Like a garter steak? Ste steak. I'd like a steak. Been eating M&Ms all day. Well, for a little bit. Hey, there's a... There's a base. No, because there was an achievement. There was like a trophy achievement thing that was like mother spider something from the sky. And now that I think about it, what better place for that thing to hide than here? Oh, wait. Oh, that's a bee. Or am I at the... Yeah, I'm totally at the thing. So maybe I'm fine. Maybe I'm fine. If I send it and I see something, I'm pausing and I'm done. And I'm done. We made it. We all know what that means. I'm ready to pause and quit. It auto-saved for me. How lovely. I... Pause. Feet. field station I go made it mmm ooh this place looks good I'm gonna nab that oh huh. the kinder science lab modules have not held up as okay the part you missed he uses like kinder science lab modules to build all this stuff from his old company that he worked for so I thought I'd add that because you missed it from the last part because of the audio missing out. So now we'll continue. As well as anticipated. I thought hiding these lab units in the hedge would provide a bit of protection from my rampaging children. He has children. That's cool. We can get them to save me. But it appears not even the sanctuary of these leaves can protect my work from an errant flingman disc. The subsequent breaches in the lab structures have invited all manner of arachnid invaders to wander in. My plan is to recalibrate the tasty bots for defensive action. A stopgap solution, to be sure, but I've no time for repairs, not when I'm so close to unlocking the mysteries of raw science. Um, you hear that word he used? Arachnid? Yeah, because I heard it too. Um, um, that little thing that I thought also told me about spiders was just telling me about the lab that I was close to. I don't think that's a warning for spiders. But where's this? This supposed to be like a whole other lab, like a full size lab in the hedge. Maybe I just need to climb. 
Maybe that's it up there. <laughs> Damn it. Well. Hold on, what am I doing? My axe just fell all the way down, I think. But I got the science. I think I need to go all the way back down. There's a zip line. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna zip line and see if I can get to it from over there. Right stick. Oh, I almost just died. Okay. Jump. Are there spiders in here? Die, dude. Oh, give me all of, give me, give me your stuff. Retrieve, retrieve. Might loaf. That's a spider web. I discovered a quartz thing. What? Wait, oh, oh, is that not just rocks? Oh, upgrading weapons. Let's go. Okay, after this lab, we will be done it. So pretty. They were right. This is really pretty. This is the best view of the yard. Oh, I just got the spine chivies. What's this do? Pull? No, thank you. What's that? Fiber band? Yes. Oh, oh, we gotta read this. Okay, increase radio wave interference in the yard, isolating a single source. Unsuccessful. Interference uses a broad roving spectrum of frequencies. Rote code to alter surveyor frequency every five seconds, keeping it hidden from this mysterious static. Success. Surveyor system robot reboot complete. Tasty units not used for guard duty have received the profile upload and are currently en route to harvest targets in the yard. Tasty units used for field acquisitions are showing increased signs of wear and tear, rust being the most prevalent. 19 unknown radio signals were spotted during reboot processes. Points of origins were not at fixed locations. That rules out the kids and Mr. Henderson. All signs point to ominent. Increased security protocols on all lab facilities installing biometric scanners where needed. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it. Operational. That looks so, I'm gonna have to fix it. Or not. Oh yeah. Yes, those are online. Those are online now. That's good, right? Surveyor connection established. Use survey stations to scan for analyzed materials. Oh. Visit additional stations to expand the survey network. That's cool. Retrieve a super chip. The map. So there's a super chip over there. So I think my best option would be to leave the hedge, go along the hedge maybe, to get the super chip. Excellent mustache. Approval transcription unit 87.10.25, order number 73. I find it a wonder that the Burgle Mark IVs never caught on. I, I believe them to be far superior to the Mark Threes. Those never lived up to my expectations. Okay. How's that? They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. And they only had enough memory for one seasoning module, salt or pepper. All 
all solved with you Mark IVs, not to mention your most excellent moustaches. Thank you. I will never forget this moment. That's so nice. You'll never forget it. That's really cute. But this is, so I need to get like over there in the bush. So let's look. Going right there. Yeah, like literally just dropping, leaving. Getting away from whatever those, I assume that those might be moths. Uh, Taking a look. Too far away to analyze for the peeper. Okay. Anyways. Going straight there. Getting it and then going back to him. Like, look how big the whole yard is. I haven't even gotten close to all of it yet. This is crazy. This is awesome. But, this is where we're going to have to end it here. Thank you for watching and sticking through the uh, very sad... What the? Like I was saying, thank you for watching. No idea what those are. If you do, comment it, the name down below, please, of whatever that is. I don't, I don't know what that is. It doesn't even look like a bug that I know, which is weird. Anyways, yes, thank you for watching. See you next time. Peace.